चुका है वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ डू इट टू विथ tonight we're going hunting we're going to look for some possums hopefully we can hopefully we can get one so i think you guys are going to be able to see what i'm seeing not not to the fullest degree but hopefully i got you guys mounted to the gun i don't have any scope cam So I don't think you're gonna get to see as clearly as I am, but hopefully, hopefully, you're seeing just a little bit as to what's going on. So pretty much all I will be doing is just spotting the trees, and maybe we might get a possum. I'm not sure, but when when I do get something, I'll put you guys I'll put you guys back on so you can get to see me. Take a a possum out. Oh, that's a little possum. Not even a big one. Maybe there's a big one around. But that one is really small. Not even a pong. And the limit the limit is a pong. Possum right there in the bush. In the bushes. Man, <laughs> that's like the sickest thing ever. Where is it going? Yeah. It was like right here. I think that shot hit him just a little bit low. Where is it going? Where is it going? Got it. Okay. <laughs> the first shot hit him just a little bit low. So, man, this is really steep. See blood. Which means he's somewhere across here. Man, it's really steep here. Blood, blood, blood. Man, all the way down. It's like I'm going back down to the river. I'm pretty much back at the river. <laughs> he fell a good way down. He fell a good way down. You can see the blood on the bushes. Blood on the bushes. Okay, so there he is. Oh. Yep. That's one possum down. I think the first shot hit him a little bit low. So let me see where this shot hit him. Nice. So I'm gonna bag it. And we're gonna continue. I'm gonna head. I'm not gonna go back up that steep hill, so. We're just gonna go through and back around 
started all over again. Maybe we might meet another one. Nice female. We're gonna bag it. And then we're gonna continue. Guys, time for us to head home. It's been a little while and we haven't caught anything. I'm feeling a little bit of rain, so I haven't brought a bag to cover the gun or cover the camera. Man, I don't want this camera to get wet at this moment. So, we're gonna head home. Hopefully tomorrow you guys are gonna get to you guys are gonna get to see me clean the possums. It started to rain. We are not at home as yet. Man, I'm gonna have to try and shelter under this tree. Hopefully until the rain pass. And then we're just gonna head home. Huge stank. To everyone who has been a part of the Do It Prove It family, all the viewers, subscribers, I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of the family once more. I mean, if it wasn't for you guys, the channel would have never been this much of a hit. I truly thank you guys for all the love that you have been sending us on Instagram on TikTok and right here on YouTube. If you're not yet following the channel or if you're new here, welcome. I really hope you enjoyed this hunt. It's not over as yet because I'm gonna show you guys how to go about and clean the possums. And that's just about it. So I guess I'll catch you guys tomorrow when the fire is all going. Okay guys, so what I'm about to show you today is how how I go about cleaning the possum. I got this from a coconut and we're just gonna like scrub it off just a little bit. There's not there's really not much to it. Just gonna remove a few glands. And you might you might have to do a little bit of scraping. Get some of that extra fur off. But that's no problem.
So this is just for demonstration purpose. You can see, hit him right in the in the forehead, <laughs> and he was out. She was out cold. Firstly, they're gonna remove the glands in the neck area, in this area, and there's two in that area. I'll make the cuts off camera, and then I'll show you guys what the glands look like. I'm so sorry, it's gonna be a little bit graphic. But yeah, we got. That's one. And that's two, right? Let me get one out to show you guys. So, this is called a rink, right? At least that's what we call it. It's just it's just glands, and these give the meat a different flavor if you cook it with it. It's gonna taste a little bit rank, like we Vincentian normally say. So it's gonna taste rank, and if you really want your dog to hunt these out, you gotta give your give your dog these, right? There's a few there's a few a few more, but those are the major major ones got some to the front of the leg here it so happened that these are shaped just a little bit different but still you got to remove them because they give off a, a really how to say if you ever smell a possum before it gives off a possum smell <laughs> but yeah and there's one more right here you got to remove that as well so all these you can give to your dog and your dog is going to be an epic 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 hunter that was one it got cut so just search they're looking a little bit like beads so you can't you can't really go wrong so it's like a little pebble or something like that as you can see there's like a, a seed to it so we just call it the rank and the major 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 one is right sitting right by the buttocks area so I went ahead and cut out the whole entire buttocks area let me just get one so you guys can see it's covered in in fat and you can see it's already secreting stuff and that gives a really nasty nasty smell I mean that that's what makes a possum a possum <laughs> right and to here uh, there's nothing much to this area but I just like to go ahead and just cut it as well right so there's really nothing here it's just to the front to the neck and to the rear area but i normally cut here so when it's time to dissect it and cut it up into parts it's way easier and as you can see this is a female we're gonna remove this entire area this is like where the the little ones stay for a while until they're fully matured to be riding on the on the back <laughs> yeah that's true so they ride on the back of the mothers when, when she's going from point A to point B and if they are not big enough they're gonna sit right in this area hooked on to the to the nipples uh, let me not say nipples to the teeth to the teeth of the possum right hopefully hopefully that's correct so what I'm gonna do from here is pretty much remove the legs right pretty simple remove the legs easy as that i just core it on the back flip it right in the in the joint and like i said these are going to be fed to my dogs i'm going to cook i'm going to cook those along with the liver and all of that all of that other stuff so right foot off and like i said i am going to cook the head for the dog as well so I'm gonna remove this right now that we got everything out you can see it's just pure pure meat pure meat it's not smelling as ranky as that so let's just head on to the, the process I am gonna split this so yeah I know it's a little bit graphic but 
this is how our ancestors used to survive eating what nature has provided set this aside I'm gonna remove the liver and all of that so happened that this this animal took a, a shot to the lung unfortunately not my style but it had to be done so I'm just going to remove that bloody area. Also going to be for the dog. Okay. Continue scraping off the tail. It's all clean. Smelling more like beef. To me a little bit like pork all ready to all ready to cook there's no glands no glands so you're not gonna you're not gonna have this weird tasting meat so that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this little section where I show you guys how to clean your possum and it's pretty much ready to curry whatever you want to do with it so yeah i'm just gonna continue the rest so you guys take care and i'll catch you guys in another episode of do it prove it